I think when Clay had a rough outing a, a couple weeks back with the Reds when he we came apart a little bit, he, he said that sometimes when he loses it, it's kind of tough from to kind of self self correct. Do you see that from him a little bit, just from the, the times he's he's got bumped around a little? Um, I mean, I, I think is we, that something he has to learn? I guess right. kind of along the way. Um, I mean, I, I think he has done a good job of self correcting because in some of his most dominant outings, you'll see him that his first couple pitches won't necessarily be in there, and I think he does. You know, I think what what he was answering, I, I, I think I saw in the the question and answer that you're talking about with the Reds was he just didn't correct there on the fly. So he was having a hard time, you know, kind of finding it. So, um, you know, today was different. Not quite that. Um, you know, obviously lost a little bit there with two hitters, but got himself back into a good count with Perez there. And then, you know, probably didn't get the sink that – he just normally always has, and, and Perez got him. Back right. Um, Matt Carpenter has a career-high batting average on fastballs and breaking balls this season. What have you seen from his approach that makes him so difficult to pitch to for opposing pitchers? Well, I mean, I think he's back to being the all-star level hitter that he's, that he's been most of his career, you know. Um, I mean, he's got a great great approach, great eye at the plate. He controls the strike zone. Um so, you know, when you do that, you usually get yourself in, in, in good position. More often than not, you're going to get yourself in good counts because you are controlling the strike zone. And then, you know, he's got a swing that allows himself to, to handle mistakes, whether they're secondary pitches or, or good fastballs. Eric. Aaron, two days before the trade deadline, how do you assess the state of your bullpen? Um, <clears throat> I'm encouraged by a lot of the things I'm seeing. Obviously, today was a tough day for us, um, you know, but, you know, Clay Holmes has been, you know, one of the best closers in the sport. You know, today notwithstanding, we feel great about, about him. I feel like Loisega continues to make progress. Chappie's making progress. Um, we've seen the likes of Marinaccio and, and Clark Schmidt really take big steps and be real contributors to the bullpen. Um you know, Wandy's reliable, and we've seen Albert Abreu, I feel like, go to another level. So I think we're seeing a lot of good things down there. Um, you know, we just got to keep refining, keep getting better, and, um, you know, put ourselves in a good position moving forward.